Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithbin.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to point your domain from GoDaddy to Bluehost. Now, if you purchased your domain name separate from your web host, you're gonna to have to make a few small changes in order for your blog to be viewed online. Reason being, your domain name needs to point to your web host's DNS before anyone can access and view your blog on the internet. And the way that that's accomplished is by configuring your name servers. Now I know I'm throwing a lot of jargon and technical terms around, but trust me, it's super easy to set up. I'm gonna show you how to do it step-by-step step in this video. Now, here's a quick example of why you need to configure your name servers. Let's say you purchased I Love Running from GoDaddy, but you purchased your web hosting from Bluehost. Now, if someone were to go to www.iloverunning.com, they wouldn't be able to access your site, and odds are they'd be taken to an ad page that's designated by GoDaddy. And that's because your domain name isn't pointing towards your web host, Bluehost. But all you have to do is reconfigure the name servers, and once you do that, you're going to be able to start building your blog, and other people will be able to access it online as well. Now for this tutorial, I'm assuming that you purchased your domain name from GoDaddy, and your web hosting from Bluehost. And all we're going to be doing is making a couple of quick changes so that whenever people enter your domain name online, they'll be taken to your blog. Finally, before we get started, I encourage you to subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. That way you can be the first to know whenever my new videos are available. Additionally, if you find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like it and leave a comment below letting me know how it helped you out. Alright, with that being said, let's get started. So GoDaddy has recently updated their customer portal, which made this process of changing the name servers even easier. So the first thing I want to do is sign in to your GoDaddy account. So I'm just going to sign in really quick. Then you'll be taken to your product list and your domains will be the first products listed on this page. So find the domain that you want to point to Bluehost and click on the DNS button next to that domain. And this will take you to the DNS management settings for that domain. Now all we're worried about are the name servers. So scroll down to the name servers section. There it is. And you'll see that they are currently set to the default name servers. But we'll want to update that and change them to the Bluehost name servers. This will ensure that our GoDaddy domain will point to Bluehost and display correctly whenever someone tries to access your blog online. It's kind of a big deal. So first, let's grab the Bluehost name servers real quick. Simply log in to your Bluehost account, and then once you're at the Bluehost customer portal, click on Domains on the left-hand side of the screen. And this will bring you to your Bluehost domain management page. And one thing I want to point out is that as I'm recording this video, Bluehost is beta testing a new version of this domain management portal. And I'll show you the current version and the test version, just in case you're watching this video after Bluehost has rolled out the new version of this page. All right, so the current domain management experience looks like this. It's pretty easy to navigate. To access the Bluehost name servers, just click on that name servers tab. And that'll let you find the two name servers that we'll be using for our GoDaddy domain. And they're ns1.bluehost.com and ns2.bluehost.com. But now let's check out the new version of Bluehost's domain management page. And again, this is just so you can see how to access the name servers if you're watching this video after they've rolled out the update. And it looks a little different, but still super easy to navigate. You'll have your domains listed. And then to access the name servers, click the manage link. And then click on the name servers tab. And voila, there they are, ns1.bluehost.com and ns2.bluehost.com. So just copy those two Bluehost specific name servers. I'm just going to highlight the first one and copy it by clicking Command C on my keyboard. Then go back to your GoDaddy DNS management page. And to update the name servers, under the name servers section, click the change button. 
then you'll see a drop down that is set to default. Click that and select custom. And you may get a pop up, but you can go ahead and ignore that. Then below the pop up where it says name server, in the fields provided, simply paste the two new Bluehost name servers. So ns1.bluehost.com and ns2.bluehost.com and then do a quick review to make sure everything looks good. And it does. And then go ahead and click the save button. And your request to change your name servers have been sent. Now please note that your new DNS settings will begin to propagate as soon as you save your changes. But each internet service provider updates at a different rate, usually taking 24 to 72 hours to complete worldwide. So after you save your new name servers, it may take a day or so to finalize. However, once the name servers are set, you can start building your blog with Bluehost. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. As always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.